Biological anthropology study many aspects of how we came to be humans as we are now, right from human evolution up to modern times and genetics and so on. Uh, my particular area of interest in biological anthropology is studying health and disease in the past. So I've been working with the excavation team at the University of Leicester to look at Richard III's health. So we're not only studying his scoliosis, for example, but I've been looking at intestinal parasites. Parasites obviously have a health impact on the person who was uh, affected by those. Uh, parasites commonly cause malnutrition, for example. But they also tell you about the life that person led. So roundworm is spread by fecal contamination of food. So it shows that Richard's chefs either weren't washing their hands after going to the toilet or that human waste was being used to fertilise the, the crops in the fields, uh, which then grew plants that were used in his diet to uh, uh, provide salads and vegetables and so on. So they can help us to understand sanitation in the medieval period too. And um, some people will wonder how you know that he had, that he had roundworm. Good question. Well, at the time of his excavation, uh, the archaeologists took samples of soil from his pelvis, where his intestines would have been during life, and they also took control samples for the soil from his skull and from outside the grave, following the protocol that I have sent to many archaeologists in Britain, and we do collaborations together. And I analysed the samples in my lab in Cambridge, and we found that the soil from the pelvis was contaminated with parasite eggs. It had multiple roundworm eggs in it. But the soil from the skull, where we wouldn't expect to find intestinal parasites during life, that had no parasites at all. And the sample from outside the grave, which would show us generalised contamination of the soil from human rubbish at that time, just showed a very scanty level of parasites. So the fact that the pelvic soil shows many parasite eggs shows that that doesn't indicate uh, contamination from later time periods, it indicates that these were the worms that were genuinely in Richard III's intestines at the time of his death.